Good morning students. Today we are going to study a very interesting topic and that is adaptation in animals or how animals survive. So dear children, like plants, animals are also found all over the world. So some animals live on land, some animals live in water, some live in hot desert and some other lives in cold polar region. So what is habitat? The natural place where an animals live and reproduce is called its habitat and every organism has a unique habitat. To survive in a given habitat, animals need to be able to adjust themselves to the conditions of the habitat. Now what is adaptation? The change a living being makes in its body features and behavior in order to survive in a habitat is called adaptation. And animals that are able to adapt themselves to their surroundings can survive. And other that are not able to adapt to the changes in the environment slowly dies out and become extinct. Example, dinosaurs. Adaptation may be for different purposes like first adaptation for habitat, second adaptation for food, third adaptation in behavior. Let us study about them in detail. First adaptation for habitat. Dear children, as you know, some animals live on land, some live in water and some spend their time in air. These animals have different features which help them live comfortably in their environment. Depending upon the place they live, animals can be classified into terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, amphibians, arboreal animals and aerial animals. So first we will see terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals live on land, on the surface of the ground, in the burrows or below the surface of the ground. And these animals have features suitable for life on land. So terrestrial animals like deer, tiger have strong legs to walk and to run on the ground. Most of the terrestrial animals have lungs as their breathing organ. They have well developed nervous system and sense organs to feel the change in the environment. Some animals like snakes do not have legs to move around. They crawl with the help of scales on their bodies. Dear children, climate condition may vary from place to place. It is cold in the mountain and in the polar region, whereas it is very hot in the desert now, let us see how some animals adapt themselves to survive in different climatic conditions. So, let us see first animals living in desert. Deserts are hot and dry places. Animals like camels are found here. And desert animals have special features to prevent water loss from their bodies. For example, Camels have thick skin with very little hairs so that they do not lose much water. They also have humps on their back which stores fat. They get energy from this fat when they do not eat for food for a long time. They also have long eyelashes that protect their eyes from stand, sand storms. They have broad, flat and padded soles that help them to move on the land without sinking into it. And camels are also known as ship of the desert. Next is animals living in mountains and polar region. Mountains and polar region are quite cold. Mountain goats and yak are found on the mountain and animals like polar bear, 
penguins and seals live in polar region they have thick fur on their bodies to keep them warm under the skin these animals have a thick layer of fat called blubbers which keep their body warm thus these animals have adapted to live in different climatic conditions next is aquatic animals animals that live in water are called aquatic animals like crabs turtle ducks fishes whales and dolphins are some example of aquatic fishes and crab have gills to breathe in oxygen dissolved in water whales and dolphins do not have gills they have lungs to breathe they come up to the surface of water from time to time to breathe fish have fins and turtle have pedal like flippers to swim in water duck have web feet which help them to swim on the surface of water next is amphibian animals that can live both on land and water are called amphibians frogs toads newts and salamanders are some examples of amphibians they have legs to move on land and web feet to swim in water these animals breathe through lungs on the land and with the moist skin in water next is arboreal animals animals that spend most of the time on trees are called arboreal animals monkey squirrel koala bear are some example of arboreal animals monkeys have strong arm and tails for climbing and swinging the branch on trees some of these animals have sharp claws to climb up and down the branches next is aerial animals animals such as birds bats butterflies fly in the air they are called as aerial animals some of their adopted features are they have one set of limbs modified as wings to keep them to fly they have streamlined body or boat shaped body to cut through the air easily dear children we have learned about the adaptation for habitat next is adaptation in behavior some animals have different type of adaptation to survive in extreme weather conditions first is hibernation some animals go into deep sleep to save themselves from severe winter and survive without eating much this state of animals is called hibernation some animals like bear and snake eat more food than usual during autumn season and store it as a fat to use during winters when they go into hibernation next is migration some animals and birds move to far off places to stay away from harsh weather condition or look for food and a safe place for their breeding this movement of birds and animals is called migration birds like siberian crane and mallard ducks visit india every winter and when winter ends next is adaptation for food we already know that there is a variety in feeding habits of animals they have adapted themselves according to the food they eat and so on the basis of feeding habits and food animals are classified into four groups and they are herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous and parasites so first is herbivorous the animal that eat only plant and plant part are called herbivorous such as elephant giraffe horse zebra and deer 
are some example of herbivorous herbivorous animal have strong front teeth to bite the grass and leaves they also have strong and flat grinding teeth at the back to chew the food herbivorous animals like elephants have long trunks to pull out grass and leaves giraffe have long neck to reach to the leaves from tall trees butterflies have tube like mouth to suck nectar from flowers next is carnivorous animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivorous such as lion tiger cat wolf and jackal are some example of carnivorous carnivorous animals have sharp long and pointed front teeth to tear the flesh they also have strong and flat grinding teeth at the back to chew the bones and flesh birds such as eagles kites vulture also eat flesh they use their sharp claws to catch and hold their prey they also have strong sharp and hooked beaks to tear the flesh frog and lizard have long tongue to catch worms and insects next is omnivorous animals that eat both plants and other animals are called omnivorous such as dog crow bee and human beings they have both sharp front teeth for tearing and strong flat molars for grinding their food next is parasites the animals that live on or inside the bodies of other animals called host are derive their food from they are called parasites mosquitoes ticks leech and lice are some parasites animals in danger despite of several adaptations life of several animals are in danger because of the destructive activities of human such as mining destruction of forest hunting and killing of animals and by doing so we are taking away the home and food of many animals thus many animals are in danger and dying out some animals like dodo have already disappeared from the earth such animals are called extinct animals animals such as giant panda tiger snow leopard asian elephant are on the verge of extinction such animals are called endangered animals adaptation for protection many animals protect themselves by running away from their enemies deer and zebras can run very fast some animals merge with their surroundings thus it becomes difficult to see these animals this is known as camouflage animals protect themselves from their enemies in different ways they develop special features which help them to escape from their enemies like stick the stick insect look almost like a dry small twig as a result they are mistaken as a twig chameleon change their color skin color to blend with the surroundings the white fur of a polar bear matches with the surrounding snow making it difficult to spot the bear the stripes of zebra and tiger make them hard to see in the grassland or forest some animals have spines or shells on their bodies to protect themselves porcupines and hedgehogs have spine covering their bodies when a hedgehog senses danger it rolls up into a ball it becomes very difficult for the predators that is an animal that catches and kills other animals 
to attack it tortoises and snails have hard shell covering their bodies some animal like rhinoceros and buffaloes use their horns to fight their enemies some animals like opossums and some snakes pretend to be dead when they are in danger the globe fish blow itself up to twice its normal size so that it looks bigger and scares away its enemy if any enemy chases a flying fish it jumps out of the water and glides by spreading